I'm Alan Bennett with the uh, Lava engineering team here at Lenaro. Um, I'm the engineering manager. I've got with me Tyler Baker, the technical architect of Lava. And the demonstration we've got here is a, a pretty cool demonstration of some of the things that we've done with Lava lately. Um, so let's take a quick overview. I'll, I'll introduce you to all the pieces. Uh, this first plastic box uh, is kind of a remote Lava Lab. So we've got eight Beagle Bone Black boards. Uh, each one of those boards is equipped with a, a serial port so that we can control it in lava. It's also got power being provided through a, a custom home-built PDU. Uh, and so that we've got the ability to turn on and off the power for the boards. You'll notice right now that all the boards are off uh, because there aren't any active jobs being ran. So if we come over here, what we see here is just a, a laptop. It's got a virtual machine running in it, and that virtual machine is uh, playing the role of a remote lava worker. And so in the lava picture, a remote lava worker is also known as the dispatcher, and it's going to control the jobs that will be running on the Beagle Bone Blacks. If we come one more system over, uh, this system here is uh, just a web browser that's bringing up the page of the the lava server. This lava server is actually running in Washington. Washington State. Washington State. What's the town? Bellingham, Washington. Bellingham, Washington. Uh, so it's running over here, and this is just showing the, I guess, the status of the server there. So what we're going to do is we're going to submit a job in Washington. It's going to schedule that job to run on a Beagle Bone Black, and it'll schedule that job to run here in this little board farm in Dublin. Uh, so Tyler, if you want to go ahead and start a job. Sure. And b before we start the job, I think it's important to notice um, we have a single lava interface, but we have hardware distributed over thousands and thousands of miles. That's what's so exciting about this. Uh, in fact, I'm going to submit a job for my Beagle Bone Black in my lab back in Washington State, and we have eight Beagle Bone Blacks here in Dublin, like Alan said, and we're also going to run the jobs at the same time uh, as this lava server running as, as one uh, entity. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to submit a job to uh, my Beagle Bone Black in Washington State. And we can take a look here. I'm just we can see that we have one running. Actually, it's one of these. The scheduler decided to run it on its own. But now what we'll do is we'll launch all the jobs. So we're going to schedule 10 jobs. Now we've scheduled 10 jobs. And so what's going to happen is the scheduler will arbitrarily pick these Beagle Bone Blacks, both in Washington State and here in Dublin, to run jobs on. Um, and this is using a new bootloader class that uh, uh, I've developed to basically TFTB boot uh, raw kernel images directly to uh, the device under test. This is a lot lighter than using a hardware pack. In fact, uh, this is running uh, Linus's tree. It's tip kernel um, as of today. Um, so these are uh, fairly new kernels. And uh, as you can hear, we have lights clicking on. Alan, do you want to tell them about what's happening here? Uh, really, the jobs have come from Washington. They've come to the the remote worker here, which is just the VM, the black screen, uh, is just running silently in the background. And now the jobs are, are actually being launched to, to load a kernel, to boot the kernel uh, that Tyler's just built, to power on the boards when they're needed. They're off when they're not. Um, I don't know, that's, 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 that's pretty that's much a good what's going on. The fact that it's all happening is really, really the magic here. It's not... And it's the distributed nature of it all, is that we're able now to, to use Lava to share hardware amongst developers and, and really cater Lava to a development workflow where uh, you need it to be light, you just want to build a kernel image, get it on a board, see if it boots, um, you know, and now Lava is enabling these kind of things. And it's just so neat to see that we're, we're countries away from where the main instance of the Lava is, yet we're still able to test in a very, very efficient manner. Um, these jobs only taking from two to three minutes to, to actually bootload a kernel. Um, so I think that's really exciting. Now the other thing that, that could be exciting uh, to look at here, so you can see all of the, the Beagle Bones are running, is to have a look at these, uh, this new interactive bootloader support. Um, this is going to be demoed on, on uh, Demo Friday here. And what you can see is you're actually able to uh, specify boot arguments here in the job file. Uh, typically, Lava has enforced these as, as static uh, uh, 
arrays in the device configuration file now, you can specify them on the fly. So if a developer wants to test a kernel that doesn't use a uh, flattened device tree, uh, he can do so by changing the boot args directly in the job file, whereas if he wants to try uh, another build that uses flattened device tree, he's enabled to do that as well. So I think that's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of power uh, in this because now you can control the bootloader as a developer in any way you see fit to, and you can basically uh, use it to meld uh, Lava to, to work in your workflow. And I think that's what, what's really key to, to understand here is that it doesn't impose uh, anything on you. It allows you choice to uh, you know, specify these boot commands. And I think we're, we're really on the right path here with uh, getting kernel CI going here at Lanaro and uh, really making it fast and efficient and something developers really want to use because it helps them in their day-to-day -day efforts. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, being able to do this you know, in a, in a way that really supports the way Lenaro is distributed across the world as well. As we've got different boards that people aren't using, we can make those, you know, make those do useful work for people uh, throughout the day. And I think this is, uh, I mentioned this in another video I did with, with Amber, that we want to open up community.validation.lenaro.org, basically uh, a community-based hardware board farm that is powered by Lava um, and uh, that allows anybody out there to use Lava to test their kernel, um, to test other devices. In fact, all of my devices that are in my lab will be dedicated uh, to community.validation.lenar.org. And you know, I encourage people, if they're interested, come get us an IRC, get on our mailing list. If they want to host some boards, we're really looking for people to do that. So we'd like to grow a large board farm that's all community-based and uh, uh, hardware for, for the masses. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one final thing to look at is, you know, now even even though these are all available to run at any time, job file comes in, they'll start up and run. Uh, things that we've done recently have added the ability for the boards to be off. So here in a second, uh, we should see the remaining boards, like these these top two beagle bones here, uh, will actually turn off. All right, there you'll see that 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 last one's completing, but the other one shut off, and that just shows that. When our tests complete, um, you know, the boards will go off. So especially as we move into, you know, trying to get community.validation.lenaro.org out, um, you know, people, I guess, it'll let people know that the boards won't be on when they're... Power efficiency. <laughs> Power efficiency.